Alright Project Moon Gold family, we're back with another video. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Don't send fiat or crypto to any of the comments below that are asking for it, like the bots. I will never ask you for crypto or fiat currency, okay? I do my own research, I suggest you do your own. This video is only for entertainment, not financial advice. I stay up till 5 in the morning, I'm absolutely obsessed with cryptocurrency. I'm doing the trades, I'm doing your research, I'm doing the research, I suggest you do as well too. You're not playing with Monopoly money, you're playing with hard earned working money. Alright guys, join the telegram below, Project Moon Gold. Uh, we do trade setups, you know, we shoot the shit on the telegram. I want to get to know you guys. I want to be on the rocket ship with you guys when you are finding a coin. And I could possibly cover it on the channel if it looks good as well. So today we're doing a different video, guys. We're doing an after hours breakdown. So here's the deal with the after hours breakdown. I got Pepsi and I got Proper 12 Conor McGregor Irish Whiskey. Okay? So... At the beginning of this video, we are going to get into some coins with CoinGecko. At the end of this video, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing real price predictions or if we are going to be doing price predictions based on FOMO because Irish whiskey is going to be straight. And I would like to be on a live stream right now, but I'm having troubles with my camera and I'm not using my webcam. so. Yeah, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. I just got, is VRA a good buy? Okay, so that's a message in my telegram. Let's go look at VRA. All right, let's look at VRA. Vera City. Okay, Vera City, VRA. Yeah, it pumped. She pumped a lot. She has been pumping. The girl's been in the gym with the pre-workout. And she has been going up. So VRA, 18, or sorry, one cent, one cent, okay. And the max is, okay, so she started picking up around, I would say right here, she started picking up on the 14th of March, and she absolutely went up from there. And now she's one cent. Okay, so she's looking pretty good. Uh, market cap, we don't know. Circulating supply, we don't know. This is a coin that is pretty young and I want to look into. And I, She's on Bitmax. She's on KuCoin. She's on Uniswap, Bittrex. So she's on a lot of trusted uh, exchanges here. Oh man, Audius, guys. Audius, I don't even want to talk about Audius right now. Yeah. We'll talk about Audius in a bit. I have a bag in Audius, but I actually moved some money over to PunDX from Audius, so I, I don't, you know, I'm not upset about that, but Vericity's looking good. Let's look at her .io. Vericity is a protocol and product layer platform for esports and video entertainment. Why do I feel like I covered this? No, I don't think I did. VRA Rewards product layer is integrated for the following video players. Twitch, boom, big one. YouTube, boom, big one. Vimeo. Do people even use Vimeo anymore? Duty A, welcome to the group. You get a you get a shout out on our after hours live stream. Welcome to the group. Esports site uses cutting edge blockchain protocol to launch. Okay. Yeah. Vericity is, is definitely has a lot of publicity. Um, Vericity.tv. Join tournaments on major esports games, earn prizes, play against pros or your friends. Game Store. Jurassic Run, Conflict Nations. Cool, cool. Watch and earn VRA. Earn VRA by watching videos and ads on sites of publishers and creators you love. When you see the trophy turn green, click it to claim the rewards into your Vera wallet. Guys, I have a big project coming up that I need to release with our Project Moon Gold fam. And let me tell you, if you get into this project, 
I'm not saying it's going to make you a millionaire, but probably going to make you a millionaire if you put a right amount of investment into it. Yeah, so Vera City looks pretty good, but Esport Fight Club, we're just going in different pages here. Not bad. Vera City looks good. Vera is esports, so esports is huge. It's a billion dollar industry. Vera City on Coin Market Cal. Nothing. No, I am typing it in wrong. VRA. VRA. Nothing. Come on, there's got to be some. Okay, okay, there we go. There we go. Yep, that's something for sure. Viewing VRA reward system. Esport Fight Club store. This will be big. This will be huge. Get into Vera City 10 days before September 30th. Actually, six days, but. Okay. Vera Wallet mobile apps. September 30th. Player matching. Huge. September 30th. Guys, September 30th, 30th is when I want to get into Vera. March 31st, VRA rewards on VOD player. All right. Yeah, Vera City looks like a good project. New exchange, March 31st. What could it possibly be? Of course, it's not going to list what exchange, right? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Vera City looks like... A very very good project and I will be doing a separate video on Vera City right away actually by the time this video is up Vera might be up on my separate video awesome so that is Vera City and I don't think she's on Lunar Crush actually let's see oh she is on Lunar Crush she is definitely on Lunar Crush. Look at this. 70 out of 100. Buy, buy, buy. 68 to a 70. Not financial advice. But that is when I typically buy. Yeah, she's she's looking good. Her altcoin rank is a 70 out of 2,000. This is really good, but I would probably wait till it goes closer to a 50. Let's actually get into trading view. Tradingview.com. Trading view. Let's get into Vera VRA. I already have it up. View full feature chart. I have it up, but I don't have any any markings on it. Okay, so that's fine. Let's get our fib going here. I really wanted to do a live stream. I really did, but I'm not going to do a live stream if you guys can't see me. That's kind of kind of counterproductive if you're staring at a screen for two hours. All right. Do you like proper 12? Does anyone like Irish whiskey? I feel like it's just so smooth. It goes down pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have the $500 bottle of Grey Goose that all of the altcoins are providing. Um, but I do not mind Grey Goose for sure. Okay, what was I doing? Right. Which, whoa. No, we are not doing that. Okay. Okay. I need more data. There we go. Boom. 
Boom. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Why is this yellow? I never made this yellow. No, I want it to be red. Why is it yellow? Red for resistance. Okay, so Vera City is close to the validation line, which is the resistance line. Now you see she went up, came back down, went up, found support. So we find support pretty much around here. She broke out, right, March 16th, and then she came back down. And then she has pretty much been on the support level and staying on the support level. So our buy, our buying zone is going to be right here. This is our first buying zone, and I'll just mark this one out only for now because Fair City is a great project and she's going to pump a lot. And yeah, she's uh, testing support here. So this would be the buying zone right here. Oh, come on. I didn't want that to happen. Okay, perfect. It's still a great time to buy, guys, but I think she's going to come back down here and uh, hit the buying zone. She hit the buying zone right there, so she's definitely going to come back down here. But if we do a call for Vera City, even if we're a bit reasonable, we are looking at five cents over the short term. In one to two weeks, maybe half a month, this could this could possibly hit five cents. Actually, I want to go back to coin market. Yeah, I, I, I don't even have any any data on various cities, so I can't really, you know, say, but five cents is what we're looking at for a call short term. But yeah, Vera City is definitely a good buy um, if you're looking at it. If you want to know where resistance is and where you want it to break through, once it breaks this line, she's going up, right? There's nothing stopping her. There's no other resistance. She's just going to go up from there, okay? All right, let's look at another coin on CoinGecko. Never thought this out. I should have uh, should have brought some chips up here. Actually, that'd be pretty annoying hearing the crunching in the mic. Yeah, no, I would click off that video and dislike that video faster than faster than FOMOing into an altcoin. Guys, Kusama, Kusama is absolutely wild. Kusama is a great bank account coin. Ave is a great bank account coin. Okay, realistically though, let's go into other coins. Eternity Chain, there we go. This is what I want to talk about. Every time I try to get into Eternity Chain, it just keeps on going up. Like I have a position in Eternity Chain, but I want to hit a larger position. I want to hit a larger bag. And honestly, Eternity Chain is going up. Okay, hold on. I just need to reply to my Telegram because I'm usually just most active around this time. So, welcome to the group. Guys, join my Telegram. Join our Telegram, Project Moon Gold. Okay, perfect. This this should really be a live stream. I'm kind of kind of bummed out, but I need to get the camera thing sorted out. I'm not gonna show up with uh, 360p quality when I have a 4K video camera. Sony A7 III. Okay, 
So, Eternity Chain, guys. What am I doing here? Okay. So the max supply is 30 million. Eternity Chain broke that, and that's why she keeps going up. She hit her max supply. What is Eternity Chain? Eternity Chain is limited edition NFTs and trading cards created by elite artists and authenticated by icons. When this releases, I'm buying a pack. You want to get on an Eternity uh, pack, guys. You want to get on the Eternity packs. Don't miss a drop. I don't think I put my email in there, but you could stake Eternity. Whoever is staking Eternity right now is... Uh, is doing pretty good for themselves. So, Eternity will go up over a hundred dollars in the short term. Actually, let's go to that chart right now. Eternity, ERN, ERN. Where are you? Okay, there we go. All right. So, Eternity will definitely go up to zero point zero six zero four zero five four zero eight zero Ethereum. Put that down in your Ethereum catalog, USD to Ethereum, because this is wrapped Ether through Uniswap. So, yeah. But this is our higher target. But Eternity is aiming for $100 in the short term. When is the short term? I have no idea. I don't have a crystal ball. It isn't 3 a.m. yet. I'm not supposed to know the future. But... This would be the buying point, guys, but realistically, now we're going to have to do a new a new fib, a new chart. Right, so now the new buying zone goes here. There we go. So that's Eternity. Um, it's definitely going to go up to $100. She is finding support. Where is she finding support? Probably right around here. She's going to ride the, the breakout line, I think. And then she's going to slowly work her way up. If you look at what she did previously, she kind of respected the trend line, right? So she's just going to respect the trend line. In the middle of April, maybe a bit before then, Eternity should be closer to $100. And of course, if we're in altcoin season, she's even going to go up more, right? But she hit her max supply, so there's nothing stopping Eternity. All right, that is Eternity chain. We all know she's going up. Ecomi, shout out to my Omi fam. I can't even do a real prediction for you, but market cap is almost two billion. Guys, I got in when it was like like less than five mil. That's pretty crazy. Per twenty four hour trading volume is only forty one million though. Okay, if you look at the circulating supply, a lot of people are like losing their mind over the circulating supply. Let me talk about Ecomi here for a minute. Ecomi burns coins. So Ecomi.com is just search up the Vive app. I got a video on my channel. I'm not going to go into it. But if you are new here, it is an AR virtual reality collectible showroom pretty much. You can collect these these collectibles. Ecomi's got partnership with DC Comics, um, Star Trek, Fast and Furious, General Motors, Jurassic Park. I actually just got my Ecomi wallet in the mail. So I should probably do a review on that. But but yeah, Ecomi is looking great and we haven't even hit any main main stuff yet. Like she just got put on gate.io and on the 31st she's supposed to get put on Uniswap. But she took off about here. And I bought about, I bought about here. I guess I bought about here. Okay, a bit more than that. But I bought about there. But now she's finding support. I want Ecomi to do one more pullback. One more pullback. 
and then I'm loaded up on Ecomia and I'm ready to ride. Ride into the sunset on my mystical Ecomi horse that I am envisioning in my mind. Ecomi is a unicorn, guys. Ecomi is really rare. Yeah, Reef. We'll talk about Reef. Uh, my telegram is blowing up right now with Reef. Reef should be exploding soon here. Wow, we actually hit some uh, movement, guys. Reef is Reef is actually picking up a bit, but it's going down again. Oh my goodness, Reef is taking me on an emotional roller coaster because I could be investing into some other coins. And for all you Reef hard, you know, diehards out there, yes, I believe in the DeFi project. Yes, I believe in Reef. But at the end of the day, we all want to turn profits very, very quick. So if we go into Reef. Reef Finance. Where is she? There she is. All right, I had to do a larger fib because it uh, broke it. But I know this kind of looks confusing. So we'll make it a bit more simple. Realistically, guys, Reef is going up. Okay, so we broke our trend line, which I'm very happy about. Now the blue line is crossing over the yellow line which is the smooth moving average. So the weighted moving average is crossing over the smooth. And realistically, she's going to go up. That is what should happen. Historically, so Reef actually has, Reef has like tons of events in March, like usually six days before the coin should be exploding but Reef has a lot of controversy. I'm not going to go into it. Like Kusama deployment, guys. Like if this happens and does go through, the Kusama deployment is going to be huge. Chainlink, huge. Their test net is going to be on 31st of March. And they're going to be the gateway to DeFi. They're on the Polkadot blockchain, right? Reef. Let's see what uh, Reef is on. Yeah, look, I even favorited it. Reef is a 67. Once this hits a 68, I have full confidence Reef is on the move. Right now, she's just lost in the weight room. She's brand new to the weight room right now, and she's kind of testing out the machines. She's walking on the treadmill. She is getting her feet wet, but... Uh, it looks like she's taken some pre-workout and starting to get confident, looking up some tutorials and hitting that gym hard. All right, the all coin rank is an 81. Where do you buy Reef, guys? You buy Reef right here. This is your buying zone. But I would buy Reef right now. I don't know what Reef is going to do, guys. I have no idea. This should be going up way more than it has. Funny thing is, I bought at seven cents. I FOMO'd into Reef when people were putting fifty to a hundred thou in Reef, and what happened was it went down right after I sold it to almost three cents. I lost my mind. I was like, "Oh man, I'm glad I sold it," because I didn't know much about Reef and it wasn't doing anything. So Reef actually has a head and shoulders pattern. So head and shoulders, basically, it's showing that it's bearish but we did break the trend line. All right, next up. Let's see here. What do we want to talk about? We already talked about Eternity. Ooh, yeah. Let's talk about this. Super Farm. Man. So shout out to my Super Farm fam. So here's a funny story. So yesterday, I think it was the other day, I can't remember. The Irish is kicking in. The fight of the Irish. Nope, never doing that again. All right. Yeah, super farm. $3.44. But here's the problem. This just got listed on Binance. Um, pretty much here. Yeah. So I stayed up, a subscriber told me about it in the Telegram. Shout out to you. 
and I'm glad they did. But realistically, Binance launchings look at neighbor Alice, right? Completely skyrocketed, and then it dipped, pump and dump. But no, again, historically it should have pumped and then dumped. What happened was it actually dumped. I got in at 275. I actually got in on, uh, yeah, 275. It dumped to 205. Put a pretty, pretty big bag of super farm. And it dumped. My heart dropped. But then I'm like, you know what? When people are being fearful, you FOMO. So, 205, I held confidence. And she has just been working her way up. So, shout out to you for um, letting me know about Super Farm. I didn't even know about this until the Binance launching from uh, our subscriber in Telegram. This is easily going to double. Uh, circulating supply max is 1 billion. Circulating supply current is 101 million. Per 24 hour trading volume is 140 million. And wow, I wish I could talk to you guys in the comments right now. I'm, I'm definitely going to do a live stream soon. After hours breakdown, smash that subscribe button, guys. Like the video. Coin Gecko, yeah, we already did. There, there's no website, but Super Farm is by a YouTuber. Um, announcement on Binance. Yeah. Super Farm has the NFTs, LEO Trades, CryptoPunk Collection. I'll be holding Super Farm for a bit. Super Farm is with Matic, Polygon, their NFT launch, Animoca Brands. We're excited to announce cross liquidity pairs with Animoca Brands, blockchain projects. The rev token, yeah. So, super farm guys, look into it. Now, I think I can do a super price chart actually. Because she's on Binance now. There we go. At least I know my next video. I still have to do that Vera City video. Actually, we don't even got any data. Well, yeah, we do. We're going to have to slow this, uh, cut this down to a 15 minute. Yeah, 15 minute. Okay. Let's get our Fibonacci. Let's break out our weapon. Will we enter the battlefield with? She's finding support right now. Not bad at all. Um, okay. Man, why does it only do halfway? I really don't get that. There we go. So she's above the validation line which is great now we've got some resistance here as you can see so she's pulling back a bit but if she breaks through this we are only going up from here but if you guys want a buying zone for super that would be That'd be the buying zone, and then I believe she's going to come back down here and test some support and go back down here. But I'm hodling super for a bit because I am definitely up, and I would like to double, maybe triple. And honestly, the market cap is pretty low, so this could do an easy double, triple. Let's do a call out. That's not what I'm looking for, even though I just said that. Price label. 
$4.55. That's what we're calling for short term, very short term on the 15 minute. Super is going to be a pretty big, big project, to be honest. Guys, you want to get into super? I'd wait for it to go back down here or even here. Here would be a good because we could possibly come back down here. We could go back down here, but. Yeah, for four dollars and fifty-five cents USD is what we're looking at short term for Super Farm. All right, Ramp. Someone wanted me to talk about Ramp, so let's go into Ramp. Sixty-five cents. All right, not too bad. She really broke out around March seventh and okay market cap 88 million easy double per 24 hour trading volume boom easy double easy double rampdefi.com guys ramp is a great project just off making profit okay actually yeah, so circulating supply is 134 million. So this would be a great time to get into ramp. Actually, I would wait for a pullback on ramp, to be honest. What exchanges uh, can we get this on? Pretty much everything. Binance, Uniswap, Gate.io. Get it on Gate.io or Binance. That would be a good one. Okay, so ramp. I have to delete some of these, these uh, things at the top. All right, ramp. With the rapid growth of staking economy, global staking market cap has rocketed to exceed 300 billion. However, staking by itself is not cap capital optimal as it gives bond-like returns. While users have to also deal with fluctuating asset prices, staking also results in substantial asset value locked to a liquid positions. Okay, I learned nothing. Well, I did, but okay. Cross-chain liquidity bridges. Mint liquid capital against staked digital assets on Ethereum and other networks. Users continue to receive. All right. What is RAMP? RAMP is a DeFi ecosystem. And ecosystem partners with RAMP is TomoChain, Tezos, Injective, GRT, The Graph, GRT. I'll be doing a video on GRT. Is there any events in ramp actually coming up? Come on, Reef. Come on. Yeah, launch of ramp ignite. Whatever that is. What is this? How do I figure it out? How do I find out what? So ramp is a uh, DeFi. DeFi coin. Ramp, ramp, ramp. All right, there we go. Ramp has a 57 galaxy score, so she really hasn't even taken off yet, and she's been going up. Wow, ramp is good. I'm gonna do a video on ramp. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a bag right after this uh, this video after hours breakdown with me, your host, Josh. I was I was trying to think of something greater in my head, but it didn't really didn't really pan out. Okay, so I wanted to look at ramp on the training view. Nope, ramp. By the way, guys, why we don't do why we trade against USDT is because this kind of looks like a no, it's not. It's a cup. This is going to rounded bottoms pay the bills, as Crypto Revolution says. Literally, cup. Kind of a cup. Going to go up, right? But I'm looking on the hour because 15 minutes is just too... Do we even have any stats? Yeah, we do. 
Let's get our Fibonacci. I need to go on the 15 minute. There we go. Nope. There we go. Hey, George, welcome to the group. So wrap is going to go up a bit. I'm just trying to find some good data here, to be honest, guys. This is what I'm trying to do. Okay, we might have to work on a five minute, which I don't really like doing, but but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work on the five minute. So yeah, Rapid's going to go up to 78 for sure. Um, we're testing support by the resistance line. I can't remember what I was using now. There we go. Perfect. So you want to enter ramp. Right about there. You want to rate, wait for ramp to come back down if you guys want to get into ramp. She's probably going to go up and, and drop back down and hit our level of a new level of support. She could possibly come here even, but we'll see how that pans out. And if you guys want to take a profit at 76 cents, and this is like super short term. So if you're holding ramp and you want to take profit, you could take it at 76. But if you do want to get into ramp, I would get in around. I'm not going to change the color. That's too much work. 59. Yeah, I'd get around 59. Get in around 59 cents and then sell around 76 or even hodl for a bit if you want. But ramp is a great DeFi project, it looks like. And... Now let's go into another coin here. Let's talk about Cardano. Oh my goodness, Cardano. We have to do another video on Cardano. Okay. Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. ADA. Some big news on ADA was announced recently. Okay, let's go to the one hour. I'm going to delete this fib because now everything's different. Kind of look like we have a bit of a... No, that's fine. I would even do a larger Fibonacci. We dipped below our buying zone. Cardano is just up and down lately, but I had to get some more data here because uh, she went down a bit under our buying zone, but let's look at Cardano ADA. Well, ADA is in our buying zone right now, and our buying zone is right here, $1.22. Yeah, it'd be a great time to buy ADA right now if you guys are watching this video. 
I don't know if she's going to go back down again, but if she does, again, here's another great time to buy. If you want to take profit on ADA, you could definitely take some profit. At $1.74, this is short term, and I believe we're going to get up there very soon with the news and the Gogan release and all that stuff, right? Cardano is slated to be the next Ethereum or Ethereum killer by a lot of big analysts, uh, business moguls, you name it. Guys, check out Vodra. Okay, I'm saying it on this after hours kind of stream without interaction with you guys, but check out Vodra. It's on the Cardano blockchain. It's going to make you a millionaire telling you um, not financial advice only entertainment Cardano is looking pretty good though I think here's the problem with Cardano we we've been getting up to our resistance our validation line and it just comes back down so yes it invalidated here but it would have to invalidate again a second time and it just hasn't all right we're done looking at Cardano you guys could look at events if you want with Cardano. What else could we possibly talk about? There's a lot of other coins, but this is a lot more fun when you guys are in the comment section, to be honest. Um, Litecoin. Litecoin is at its lowest. Pretty much vet. Yeah, vet's been. Yeah, let's talk about vet V chain. V chain. Okay, vet. Vet V chain te tetheris. Yeah. Did I even do a low high low? Yeah, I guess I did. I think I was supposed to record a video and I forgot. Oh no, that's Cardano. That's funny. Okay, vet. Where are you? That's V Thor. I know V Thor has been going up, but let's try that again. I did not. I think I did a trend line, but that was about it. Okay, perfect. So Vet's been respecting our trend line, right? We know that right away. And now VET kind of broke through the trend line. However, let's do some analysis on VET. Okay. Got our horizontal, I don't know. It worked before, why did Oh, horizontal line. See, that's what I'm doing, different. Oh, perfect, that was annoying. That was driving me insane. Vet's got a W, guys. Vet has a W, a perfect W. W for win. Vet's gonna break through. VeChain is gonna break through. Broke the trend line. We have a cup kind of formation. Vet is going to break through. V chain is going to break through. I need to do a video on V chain. I've been seeing a lot of videos and I just haven't. All right. So buying zone, of course, is right here. Pretty much right here. She did drop, but if she breaks pretty much this she's going to go up and what are we calling for for a price be conservative 13 cents yeah 13 cents so for whoever has been holding vet she's going to go up to 13 cents in the short term so if you want to make a bit of profit you definitely can i would wait to see a pullback i wouldn't get in here i would buy the breakout so if you're buying the breakout Right, so you want to make sure there's no more resistance with VET. 
So pretty much once she crosses this trend line, she's going up. If you didn't buy it, but if you did and you're hodling and you want to take some profit, it would take profit around 13, 13 cents. Let's look, look at V-Chain here. V-Chain. Wow, I can't type for the life of me. June 30th. Okay, so nothing's going on for VeChain in the short term here. But the VeChain project is really good. China's backing it, BMW, like so many big supports with VeChain. Right, so news on VeChain. Vet set to decline another 30%. VeChain is the next blockchain investment for the next decade. Primed for a 10 cent breakout. Yeah, we're pretty much we're pretty much uh, close to 10 cents for sure. All right, perfect. So that's VeChain. We can go on their website. I wanted to show you guys the partnerships. That's why I came here. Partnerships for days, but. I don't know. OK, you get the point. VeChain is a great project. Um, it is a great holding project for sure. Coin Gecko. Why do I go in Coin Gecko? If you're asking, it is very consistent, I find. Kusama, Kusama is just going up. Every time Kusama pulls back, you should get a bag of Kusama. My own personal opinion, not educational advice, not even in uh, financial advice, I mean. Crypto.com, CRO. All right, let's get into that. Crypto.com. I don't know what I'm doing here. CRO is crypto. Galaxy score is a 75. Realistically, this should be going up. Altcoin rank is a 327. We are pretty bearish right now, in my opinion. Market cap, or the market cap. Market cap is a five billion per 24-hour trading volume. It's only 176 million. Okay. Crypto.com's finding support. When is Crypto.com going to break out, though? Does CRO have any upcoming events? I think we do. No. Crypto.com. No. Okay. Ave. Yeah, Aave is huge as well. All right, so crypto.com. I know I have a CRO chart here. No, I don't. I thought I did. All right. Full feature chart. I thought I did have a chart here for you guys. I'm not sure why there's no chart here, but OK. By the way, some word of advice is never have any hard alcohol while you're trading. Because then you get emotional. Oh, I can FOMO. Let's go. This coin is going to go up. My vision is so blurry. $22. Not two cents. It's $22. I'm rich. Next thing you know, you go in your bank account and I dip 50%. We are forming a, we formed a W. That should have, all right. Okay, so we bounced up out of resistance and came back down. 
So our buying zone, what just happened? Our buying zone is right here. So we are in a buy for crypto.com. We even have another W if you wanna wanna be realistic there. Win all over this. But crypto.com needs to break this zone for it to go up because it broke the validation, but it came back down, so it invalid it didn't invalidate. If it would have broke again, came back down, it would have invalidated, and then it just would have went up from there. But we are definitely in a buying zone right now for crypto.com. Yeah, perfect buying zone. Where do you want to sell? Not financial advice. Make a make a pretty penny, a bit of profit on crypto.com. Do you have a bag? Do you want to load up? Great time to load up on CRO. CRO has lots of stuff upcoming. NFTs with Snoop Dogg. I believe Lionel Richie. Crypto.com. Right? So they launched the token mainnet. Has fully launched a decentralized open source public blockchain. Launching NFT platform. Partnered with the Montreal Canadiens. So people are pretty much selling the nudes. They bought the rumor and sell the nudes, but crypto.com is a great growing growing asset for sure. All right. Let's go into another altcoin here. Then I think we're going to close the video here. HBAR. I'm going to do a separate video on HBAR, but I need to do some singular videos, so we're gonna close this out soon, but. HBAR, Hedra, Hashgraph. USDT, okay. Give me some HBAR, guys. HBAR has been going up. She's been looking real pretty. Alright, so H bar H bar's got another W formation. We're not in the buying zone with uh with H bar yet. but we possibly could be. Here's the buying zone with HBAR. Now here's the thing with HBAR. We haven't, over here, yeah, we've, we've tested and then we've come back down. We've pretty much been on a downtrend, so she's gonna push back here and here's a perfect time to buy H bar. 32 cents. Even now's a decent time. But 32 cents a good time to buy H bar. And our call is going to be about here in the middle. 39 cents in the short term. H bar went up quite a bit, right? So I couldn't really use this data because there was new data. But if we. Here would have been a great time to buy H bar. Then it just went up. Looks like she's gonna come back down to the buying buying level for support. She's not gonna break the resistance zone and invalidate it, but yeah, that's H bar. Uh, market cap is almost three bill per 24 hour trading volume. That definitely needs to go up. And seven bill for the circulating supply. 
HBAR took quite a big dip, though, to be honest. Um, what is Hedra Hashgraph? I don't even know. I just hear HBAR everywhere. Hello, Speed. Hedra token service now on mainnet. Hedra is owned and governed by the world's leading organizations. Wow, LG, Boeing. Boeing? Airplanes, Google, IBM. What is HBAR? HBAR. What is HBAR, guys? I'm going to do a separate video on HBAR. I just haven't really. There's just so many altcoins. Guys, let's go into another one here. That's HBAR. I'm going to do a separate video on it. Reduce costs and unlock new revenue. Choose Hedra for healthcare. Manage and swap assets like never before. Reduce costs and protect customers. Log in public verify actions. Yeah, so HBAR has a lot of backing. But I really want to talk about this one. Audio. Audio has been jumping out of the gym. The girl has been pumping. The girl has took in, taken her pre-workout. I got this like... When did I get this? I really like rave music and EDM. So audio has a lot of that. I got this like back here. And she has just went up. And she's going up to $8. I'm telling you. I did a... Market cap is 505 mil per 24-hour trading volume of 2 54 mil circulating supplies 153 mil but max is one bill yeah audio is looking good check out audio but she's definitely going up to eight dollars shortly not shortly shortly but within the next bit because I did a did a graph on her and she's been following it um, check out engine. I already have an engine video up, guys. If you want to see altcoins and check out some recent altcoins here, I've done engine, I've done dot, I've done reef. Shout out to my reef fam. I've done pundi. Shout out to my pundi fam. I've done safe moon. Shout out to my safe moon fam. Let's go look at safe moon right now. By the dip, by the dip. We're gonna. I'd like to get Safe Moon back. Oh, Safe Moon is here already. Almost. Safe Moon is it's gonna look good for sure. Safe Moon is gonna go up. We both know that. We both know that. I need to reply to some comments here. Shout out to God Crypto. I love the name. Guys, here's the thing with YouTube. A lot of people look at YouTube like it's a platform to make money and just, you know, make money, make videos, get views, right? But I'm probably going to be one of the only YouTubers, and there's obviously others out there, that is going to reply to almost every comment. If I have to stay up all night and reply to a comment, even after getting 100,000 views, I'm going to do it because it's for the community and you guys are putting in your time to comment putting in your time to watch a video right eventually I'm gonna have you know probably one ad playing two ads playing selective videos I'm not gonna do it every video but you guys are taking out five seconds out of your day another five and then usually another ten seconds to write a comment that's thirty seconds right so I'm definitely going to reply to your comments but Oh man, I need to look at Reef again. <laughs> I can't. Reef is driving me insane. Oh my gosh, we dropped. Why? Why are we dropping? Come on, guys. Stop selling. Why are we dropping? The community is so strong. This is one of... The, man, this DeFi, this DeFi platform is absolutely wild. All right, guys, you know, I'm going to cut off the video here. I need to do a live stream next time. This was not as fun for me, but I hope it was pretty fun for you. We still know what we're doing after having some shots of Irish whiskey. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button, guys. This is After Hours with Project Moongold. Next time, we're going to do a live stream. Tomorrow, we're going to do a live stream, okay?
That's what's happening. Tomorrow we're going to do a live stream after hours. Do not send fiat. Do not send crypto. I. There's a video here. I think it was engine. It was an engine. No, it wasn't. It was not engine. It was Limpo. Limpo? Yeah, Limpo is a great project. Check out Limpo. All right. Here we go. No, it wasn't. I don't know what video it was, but it was a video that I had like 10 bot comments and Project Moon Gold everywhere. And yeah, that's not me. Don't send crypto. Don't send fiat. Smash the like button. The club is bumping. We got the hips on the channel. Like, look at these thumbnails, guys. Like, I put a lot of time into these, I got to say. All right. Comment below and join the live stream tomorrow. We will be doing a live stream tomorrow. I'm going to figure out this whole camera thing. And if I can't figure out the camera thing, well, guess what? Then I am just going to do it without showing my face a bit longer. Be patient when you're trading. Com comes patience, brings growth, ultimately brings you profit. Take your emotions out of it. Guys, do your research. I'm absolutely obsessed with cryptocurrency. I stay up till 5 a.m. in the morning. Do your own research. You're not playing with Monopoly money. Talk to you in the next video.